Hey folks, this is Steve Beliscus with Mount Comfort RV giving you another video. Today I want to talk to you about a Somerset E3 with a front box. Now, there is a lot to talk about on a Somerset pop-up. It's, it's actually remarkable. That's going to be another video. It's probably going to be 15 minutes. There's so much good stuff to talk about. But right now, I'm just going to hit a few points and kind of go over the floor plan. Okay. First off, like all Somersets, you notice how awesome it looks from the outside. It's just... <laughs> Looks great. It's the word I want to use or not, but it's phenomenal. Taking a look, obviously you have your front box. You can get into it from the side. So you have to excuse me, I don't have the keys. Just flip it down and open it up. Or if you have this in, you can open it up from the front, kind of when you're packing things up or when you get to the campsite before you open this up, you can unload that. Same setup as the A-Liner Classics and Ranger 12s that use that setup as well. Very, very similar. But first off, you'll notice we've got the six inch tubular powder coated steel, much thicker than the competitors. All right, got a place for um, battery, dual propane tanks. You'll notice how tall their uh, sleeping areas, their beds are set up and we, we like to call the carriage setup and I'll go over that a little bit inside. You'll notice how these go all the way around. You don't got the Velcro to mess with, all right. Like I said, there's a lot to talk about here and I'm gonna hit a lot of that on the other video. But you'll notice your nice scissor jacks underneath for stabilization. These are hollow, they're a C channel I should say, stainless steel, stainless steel cables, stainless steel pulleys. The cables are twice as big as the regular ones used on pop-ups. It's, it is one heck of a system. You'll notice right here, steel panels. They're not laminated, you don't need to mess with that with a pop-up whatsoever. I don't know why a lot of companies do it, but you never ever have to worry about delamination with this. There is no structural wood in a Somerset. The only wood you may have here is just backers for cabinets. None whatsoever. Moving along, let's take a look at the tire. If you're gonna go off-road at all, you'll see how high this is lifted. The nice big knobby tires on this, you're gonna be able to go some places. But it is set up with outside speakers. We do have GFI protected electrical outlet. We do have a propane line ran for the outside stove. And um, this whole thing, what you'll notice a lot of times is you'll just see a little bit of Sunbrella material here um, on other, or, or excuse me, other pop-ups, but they've got Sunbrella along the whole thing except where they have double vinyl here on the bottom. Best part about the Sunbrella is it breathes. You won't have to worry about that condensation that builds up in so many other pop-ups. You may ask, why is this double vinyl here? Well, this is where your head and your feet are. This is where, uh, you know, if you move around the middle of the night, the double vinyl is going to be just a little bit stronger. You've got plenty of breathing room up top anyways. So, same thing in the back. We do have our spare tire mounted there. Well, I don't have it here, but on the back with the summer sets, you actually, um, this is where you would electrically, it's, you don't see electric uh, razor like you do, like a uh, lift system on the others up front because it's on the back. So you don't have to crank this thing or anything. It's just a push button and there is a manual override um, for whatever reason, or if you you know wanted to use it. One thing I said, I'll go into my other video, but I'll talk about it super quick. They utilize a posi lock system on this. The biggest thing about that is that, like I said, stainless steel cables twice as big as the others, stainless steel pulleys, stainless steel here. It's, I don't know why it would ever break, but if for some reason one of these cables break, if you've ever been to pop up where that happens, the whole roof can drop immediately because they're all tied into one setup in the back. Well, these are all independent. So God forbid one of these falls and breaks, it might sag about that much. Then just go cut a stick, go to Lowe's, get two by four piece, put it under there and move on with your trip and keep going. Um, nobody else is doing that, not even close. And since we have one down, take a look at the top. One piece of formed aluminum. No fiberglass, no rubber, no nothing. One piece of formed aluminum that's capped on the edges. Two million dollar Prevo motorhomes use aluminum up top. That's what they're using. Just going along to the back. Um, oh yeah, you also might ask, why is there no flap over this? Well, I've already talked about the no structural wood, all the stainless materials. If I had water, and I'll do in the other video, if I poured it here, it would come out right down here on the bottom. These are bolted into the six inch, uh, the uh, six inch tubular steel I was talking about. A lot of them are bolted in right underneath the cabinetry, so that's why they have the covers on them, because if water got in it, it go right into your camper. Water gets in this, it goes right through. It doesn't hurt anything at all. Anyway, here's your furnace outlet. There's your drain outlet for your sink. 
your uh, your tank fill right there. Excuse me, your fresh uh, your your direct fill. I'm sorry. Here is your tank fill, and then you have exhaust for your refrigerator. Like I said there is a slide, and it is set up with 30 amp extension. Excuse me, 30 amp power. So if you ever did want to put in AC, it can handle that just fine. Anyways, let's go inside and take a look. All right. Now we are inside the uh, the Somerset E3 with front box. It's really tempting to go over all the awesome stuff on how it's constructed, but I'm going to stop myself, okay, for the other video. First off, I'm 5'7 with shoes on. I know, I know, I'm short. But look at this. I can sleep this way. That's how big these beds are. If it's raining outside, I can sit like this. Tony, the guy holding the camera, you're about 6'2", I think. Tony can sit here as well, and you've got all this space right here. Furthermore, these beds hold 1,100 pounds. The rep told me 1,100 active pounds, so I'm sure you can get kids playing on this thing. You can sleep plenty of them up here and not have to worry about that at all. Take a look. We do have, this one comes with a shower and toilet setup. Great for in the middle of the night or if the kids need to shower because they got in a mess. My little girl had to all the time when we were out camping. But even if you don't use that, it's a great place to put wet clothes. And it does come with the curtain and all that stuff as well. If you don't need it, just set it down and use it as a uh, table. Sink, stove, don't even have the bubble wrap off this yet. Storage underneath. Okay, nice refrigerator. One thing I'll talk about, this swing level galley just comes down like this, so it doesn't tip over, so you don't need to empty these cabinets or anything like that before you would, uh, before you'd go on your camping trip. Notice the dinette in the slide opens it up a little bit, and see how they're using the same formed countertop right here, this is an A-Liner Expedition or Classic, so you don't have to worry about the condensation playing with the countertops, it's very nice. If you get into a regular pop-up and you sit down, you can sit back on these seats and they sway on you, they move. I'll show it in the other video, but these things lock down a different way so you can really sit back and recline and not have to worry about the seats moving on you a whole bunch. Anyways, this turns into a bed. Your gaucho pulls out and turns into a bed. You've also got your thermostat control here already pre-wired if you wanted to have an AC thrown in here. And you've also got your stereo set up. Okay? This thing is full LED uh, lighting, by the way. But storage under here. A little bit of storage under there, even though that's mainly for your electrical. You got power outlets here. And the same thing on this side on the bed. So, um, I hope you've all found this informative on what the Somerset E3 looks like and the general feel of the camper. If you are looking at a Somerset though, I'm sure you're very con interested about the construction because it is very unique, it's very impressive. I would definitely take a look at my upcoming video that's going to be very similar to what I did with the A-Liner construction. Very cool stuff, but you can get the E3 without the box, or you can get it with the whole front gate that you can use to put uh, you know, dirt bikes on and such things, or you can get it without that if you want to keep it a little bit shorter. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this. Give me a call, 317-898-6676 if you have any questions at all on Somerset. I'm sure I can find the answers for you if I don't know them myself. Um, or even better yet, come out and take a look at one of these and we'll set it up and down and I'll do that in the next video. And that's, that's one of the coolest things, it's so easy. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed your time, like I said, and uh, have a great day.